All right, so for a very long time now, I've been feeling like I need to do this video. Um, that God's been telling me to do it, and I keep being disobedient and thinking of every excuse and putting it off and not doing it. But uh, I gotta do it now. This is um, my first rapture dream that I had um, last year. It was a, about this time last year, like July or August, I think it was. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to make it as short as possible. But before I get into it, I guess I have to give you a little bit of background. Um, if you're anything like me and you're a skeptic and kind of question people's dreams and stuff like that, whether they're really from God or not, but all throughout the Bible, God um, spoke, especially in the Old Testament, He spoke to His people through dreams and visions. And uh, in Acts 2.17, it says that He'll pour out His Spirit again in the last days and uh, that old men would dream dreams and young men would have visions and you just look up rapture dreams on YouTube and there's literally thousands of them um, but uh, I don't think every dream is from God and uh, you can have dreams from God you can have dreams from yourself when you, you watch a uh, you watch something and you go to bed and you dream about it and um, and then you can have satanic dreams which I've had some of those and they're pretty scary but uh uh, this one, I'm 110 percent sure it's from God. It, um, the first of all, I don't sleep very good at night, and I, I hardly ever dream. And if I do, I don't remember it when I wake up. But uh, yeah, this this one, and it, I woke up in tears, and my wife heard me wake up from it. But. Um, all right, so let me get into it real fast, and then I'll explain to you the implications that it had in my life and how it just completely changed the way I was living. But in the dream I had last year, it was my first rapture dream, I, uh, I, in the beginning of the dream, I was, I was like going out and I was, I was living for God the way I, I, I always like daydream about living, like I was sharing the gospel everywhere I was going, and the Holy Spirit was just radiating through me and everywhere I was at I was, I was sharing Jesus with people and, and ministering to them and I remember um, me and my wife being in a restaurant and um, as we were sharing Jesus and we were sitting up front like in the middle in the middle table and like, everybody was looking at us weird and uh, I think we got up to go use the bathroom or something and then we came back and they had gotten rid of our table and they put our table like way in the back by a door or whatever. I was like, well, it's okay. The Jesus freaks will, you know, we'll go sit back here. It's okay. And, uh, I, you know, I was still, I was, I was happy. I wasn't mad or anything about it. And I was still sharing Jesus with people. And then the next day I remember we were in, I don't know, it was some type of festival or something like that. And there was food trucks and stuff everywhere and a whole bunch of people. And, and we were doing the, the same thing out there. We were, you know, sharing the gospel with people and it's like I was just illuminated with the Holy Spirit and uh, that's how you know I want to live live my life all the time always always daydreaming about that but uh, I remember my sister coming up to me and was like hey you need to go share Jesus with this person over here and um, it was it was actually a man dressed like a woman but was uh, they were talking to somebody so I kind of walked up and I didn't want to interrupt them or whatever so I grabbed a pamphlet from one of the stands. I don't even know what it was, but I was just kind of hanging off in the distance, just waiting. And uh, the man that was dressed like a woman looked up, and like I could tell he was possessed by a demon, and like started snarling and growling at me or whatever. And I was like, "Oh, they're they're possessed. We need to cast that demon out of them." And uh, and then I was taken out of the, out of that part. It was weird. It was like I bounced around in, in the dream to different areas, and it was um, it was nighttime the next part of the dream it was it was nighttime I don't know where I was at it was I just remember I, I knew I wasn't supposed to be there wherever I was it was like a dark alley or something um for some reason there was a dog that was with me it was like a guard dog or something it wasn't one of my dogs but I was by me I was waiting on somebody and uh, I don't know who it was but I, I don't remember the face or, or the body or anything else in the dream but they showed up all I know is I, I was somewhere I wasn't supposed to be and I was doing something I wasn't supposed to be doing 
that's all I know. And I remember I thought they pulled a gun on me or something. And I, I fell to the ground. I was like, don't shoot, don't shoot. And heck, he tossed like a holster, like a gun holster at me. It, it wasn't even a gun or whatever. But I think my my brother's an adult now, but I'm pretty sure it was him on a bicycle whenever he was a, a kid. And he took off. And whoever the guy was that was there was, he, all I remember him saying was, I, I have to go after him. I have to bring him back. And I was like, just don't hurt him. He's just scared. Um, and then he left. He took off after that. And like in front of me, there was like a four lane road. And cars were going. And I heard like cars crashing in the distance. And some of them were shutting off and like veering. And their lights were flickering on and off like real slowly. And I, and I started walking up to the road to try to figure out what was going on. And uh, I just remember the feeling like there was just it was chaos in the atmosphere it felt really weird it um yeah these cars were like were swerving uh, like they were shutting off like almost like an EMP or something hit and like, they, lost, they lost their power and I remember to the right in the sky I saw like blue flashes of light uh, almost like lightning but it was different it um and there was a guy that was in uh it was in my youth group he uh a teenager he came running down the street from my right to where the flashes of light was going on and and he uh I heard him screaming my name he's like Robbie he said this sky it's happening now and as soon as he said that I looked I saw him running he was straight terror on his face and then as soon as he screamed that and I looked at him it was like gravity got shut off and uh, I felt myself being lifted up off the ground that the only way I know how to explain it is it was like being on a roller coaster going down a hill like I lost my stomach and like happened really fast and I, I was taken up and I immediately knew it was it was the rapture I was going to be Jesus but uh, it's all I remember is <clears throat> I was covering my eyes and I just said oh King Jesus cuz um, I'm pretty I mean I'm pretty sure I was ashamed going to see him cuz I don't know like I said I don't know what I was doing in the dream but I was somewhere I wasn't supposed to be at and I was doing something I wasn't supposed to be doing when the rapture happened uh, and then as I was going up and I had my eyes shut and I said, oh, King Jesus, that's when I woke up. And like I shot up out of bed and like gasping for air and woke my wife up. It was really early in the morning and I said, I just had a dream about the rapture and I told her about it and I was in tears. It was pretty crazy. Um, but that, uh, yeah, I have a really bad memory and I still remember that dream vividly. I think about it all the time. Um, and that, when I had that dream, I mean, I knew we were we were living, that we are living in the last days, and it was like maybe six months before that, I felt like God woke me up to it, and uh, you know, just told me that He was coming back soon, and that uh, you know, what am I doing with my life? How am I living it? And uh, that's when I started doing some research, and I was like, saw all this stuff like prophecies being fulfilled, and other people having end times dreams and stuff like that, and it was blew my mind it scared me to death to be honest with you but it um yeah that dream was crazy but the um i'm gonna try to keep this video short because i'm already at eight minutes uh i want to explain to you the the implications that i had in my life so at the time <clears throat> that i had that i was a professing christian but at the time i was uh i was using marijuana cannabis weed whatever you want to call it every day uh, multiple times a day now I wasn't smoking to to try to get high and you know be a pothead or anything I was actually using it for medicinal purposes I um, have a lot of medical issues and I used to struggle with PTSD really bad depression anxiety uh, half fibromyalgia I'm in a lot of pain all the time I had multiple brain injuries in the past and and have uh, all the fun side effects of, of that with memory loss and <clears throat> pain and fatigue and everything and uh, using using cannabis every day uh, in small quantities I mean it helped me for a long time and I, with the PTSD I used to have really bad anger and anxiety and I, I was not a fun person to be around and I, and I started using that um, as a way of taking the edge off almost like I ain't taking a Xanax whenever you know, anxiety is out of control or something like that but uh, after, I mean, I used it for a long time, and, and like I said, I was using it for medicine and not, not to, to get high and get stoned. 
I was doing small amounts. Um, but it, it got to a point where I felt like God was telling me the closer I was growing with God as a young Christian, and I felt like He was telling me in my spirit that you know He wants me to get rid of that, and He wanted me to start focusing on Him to be my healer, and my that He wanted to be my provider, and, and not not me relying on that stuff. And uh, I, I didn't want to do it because of how bad my anger was, and um, you know. I, I wasn't a fun person to be around. I had a very, very short fuse, and it was a ticking time bomb, and you know, it, it, no telling what was going to set me off, and it's horrible anxiety all the time, and, and bouts of depression, and so I'd always turn to that to, to make me feel better. It took the edge off, and it got me out of my mind, but, uh, you know, like I said, God was telling me to get rid of it. I just, I didn't want to. I wasn't... I was being disobedient and I wasn't, I wasn't putting it down, but whenever I had that dream, I, I felt like that kind of connected the dots, that I, you know, that, that's what I was doing, I don't want to be smoking and using, using that whether it's for medicine or get high or whatever, I was doing something God was telling me not to do and uh, I didn't want to be using that whenever he comes back to get us and I get called up to him, I didn't want to be uh, ashamed, you know, meeting them face to face and in a dream I definitely was but the crazy thing is is uh, I just remember this too that the, the morning I woke up when I got into the Word of God I uh, I was reading I think it was first John it's first John 2 28 and it says now dear children abide in him so that when he appears we would be confident and unashamed at his, co at his coming and that verse is like he hit me like deep in my soul and I was like oh man I was like I don't want to be I need to be confident and unashamed of his coming and at that time I got rid of everything I just it was like a miracle of God I stopped using all of it I haven't picked any of it since I haven't had a desire for it um, and I just started trusting God that he was going to provide everything for me and uh, and his word every day and and doing so it uh, you know my PTSD is a hundred times better I don't have anxiety or depression anymore I have joy and peace all the time uh, my ang I never, I hardly ever get angry. I, I mean, it's, there's sometimes I do, and I repent real quick of it, but nothing like it used to be. I'm not a ticking time bomb anymore. I'm actually fun to be around now. Um, so yeah, that's that was pretty crazy. Um, I've actually had I think it's five rapture dreams now. Uh, that was the first one and the most intense one that I had. Uh, and there's some other ones that was, that was pretty crazy too, but that was the one I actually got sucked up into the sky with and I felt it. But uh, whoever you are listening to that, I hope that it encourages you. And um, if God's willing, I'm going to get back on here and try to make some videos I've been feeling like He's been telling me to make for some people I know, you know, about like why I believe in the Bible and, and why I think that we're living in the last days because it just blows my mind how many people don't realize that it, this is the last days that we're living in. And what the Word of God actually says about that it has a lot to a lot to say about it. But for the sake of time, I don't want a long video because I don't like watching long videos on YouTube. And I'm sure you don't either. But uh, I hope you have a blessed day, blessed night, whenever it is that you're watching this. And uh, let's pray for God's blessings over you.